Hello everyone. See that how we can add test ng to our project, or you can say how we can add test ng to our Eclipse. So we'll see the installation of test ng in our Eclipse. So these are the steps how to add test ng to Eclipse. The first is in Eclipse, select the help option. So I'll go to my Eclipse, I'll select the help option here. That is this. From this help option, the next thing is in search bar uh, from the help option, select Eclipse Marketplace option. So I'll click on this help. Here, I'll look for this Eclipse Marketplace option. Click over here. And once we click this, you see we have the search bar here. So here, it's mentioned in search bar, search for test ng and click install button. So in search bar, I'll write test ng and press enter. So when I when I search for test ng, you see I get test ng for Eclipse here. I click on this install button as suggested. So once I click on the install button, so here it says accept the terms and condition. And in next step, it says, in case we get trust selected option, then select all the trust selected option and accept the risk. So again, I'll move back to Eclipse. And here it's opening. So once the Eclipse is up, I'll see what it's asking for. Here, we'll click on this confirm button. Once we do that, here it asks for terms and condition. I click on this. I accept the terms and license and click on finish. So when I click on finish, in my case, it's not asking for the trust selected option. But yeah, in, in your case, it's if I ask for the trust selected option, so click on that trust selected, but checkbox, select all, and click on that trust all selected. And this will help you to select all the parts related to test ng, and you can have it those test ng in your system. So straight away, I'm moving to the last section. That is, here it says, now, so, uh, once now Eclipse will ask for restart, so click the restart button and test ng is installed in Eclipse. So in my case, now this one, what I was talking about, the trust selected. So here you see, I have also got the same option which I was talking about. So you can click on this unsigned button. Also click on this always trust all content. Here it asks, yes, I accept the risk. I click on that and then click the trust selected option. When I do this, it's asked for restart. So uh, now I'll restart the complete Eclipse. Now my Eclipse, you see it's getting restarted in bottom. And meanwhile, we'll see the next step, what we have to do. Now, to add testng jar files, follow the next step. Now, create a testng class. For that, create a package for testng. Now, in testng package, right-click on package and select testng option and select testng class name the class and click finish. So I'll get back to my Eclipse and just to check whether the test ng is installed to our system and just I'll try to run one test ng code. So in this, first I'll go to this SRC. I'll create a new package over here. Right click to go to new. From new, I'll go to the package option right here. Test ng package. Now, don't give spaces between the package or else you'll have error. Now, click on the first finish error. So now, once the test ng package is created, as it's defined in the steps, I have to right click over here, go to this test ng option, and from here, select this, create test ng class. So once I've selected create test ng class, then it's asked, name the class and click finish. So for the first time, you can keep the name as it is, from next time, you can name the class a different name. So straight away, I'm clicking the finish button. So when I do this, you see a class is created, but I have the red lines here. That means errors. So how to remove this error? So just to remove this error, here it says, take the mask to add the test annotation and select the test ng library option and also import this org.test annotation.test. So right now, I'll take my mouse to this test annotation and here it's asking to click on this add test ng library so i click over here so once i add this test ng library to my project by default you see this 
testng annotation dot test is added. So inside this method, again, I'll write a print line as it's mentioned here, write the system or print line and test ng code in double quotes. So I'll write that. And after this, I'll save this by pressing Control S and run the code. So when I run it, you see here I have the report in the console window that is one test run and passes. So this shows the test ng is installed to our system and now we can use test ng that's all in this video thank you